Tip number one, when Photoshop gives you the option to input a number into one of the input fields, you can use mass to change the number depending on what you want without the need of using the calculator. So say if you wanted to make a document smaller, you can use divide and put your number in. If you wanted to make it bigger, obviously you can use the times to make it that little bit bigger. Tip number two, using the toolbar on the left hand side, uh, using shortcuts, we can press T to get the horizontal type tool. Um, obviously, there's an extended menu when you click and hold down. If we press Shift and press T at the same time, we can flip through this menu without using uh, the click and hold down method. Obviously, this will work for the shapes as well. So we'll select the shapes. And then if we hold Shift and press U, we can flip through the shapes until we get to the one that we need. Staying on shapes, we're going to create a repeating shape using the shape tool. We're going to create your shape. We're going to duplicate this layer and then we're going to press T, Control T for transform. We're going to move it across. Make sure you're staying on the shape tool. Then we're going to press Control Alt Shift T. And if you hold that down and keep pressing T, you can create a repeating shape. Delete the first layer and then you've got a merged shape that you can edit and do what you need to do with it. Tip number four, saving the shape that we've just created as a custom shape. So you need to go to edit, define custom shape and then just save this, delete that and then we want to come to the custom shapes tool and it should be in there and you should be able to draw it. I have got a few others that I've created. So we'll just go through these. Just give you an idea of the things that you can create. Tip number five, you can use Photoshop's built-in library function to create patterns from an image. So once you've entered a library, you can click on the plus icon Click create from image. This will bring up a pop up. From this, you have five different pattern options that you can choose from. And you can just drag this around to create custom repeated patterns uh, from any image. It doesn't have to just be a shape. You can change the scale if you needed to and uh, move this around like this and you click save to libraries this will then save it there and then once it's loaded you can then drag this on and edit the scale to bring it to the scale that you need it to be 